am capable. I can activate my courage and bravery to be bold, my desire to be kind and thoughtful, and my passion to make the world a better and healthier place. I'm Emma Goltz, and I'm from Damascata, Maine. I came to Coastal Studies for Girls with a strong sense of community. I came from Damascata, Maine, a lovely little town where everyone knows the name of everyone's cat and dog. <laughs> well, maybe that's just me. <laughs> I had seen my role models make a difference in the world. I knew I wanted to make a major positive impact about the things I'm passionate about, but I didn't know how to do it. I can identify three major areas of growth at CSG. I developed a stronger sense of self, I discovered a place in the CSG community, and I thought about my place in the world, and I am determined to take this knowledge out into the world to create change. Before arriving at CSG, I thought that there were a lot of problems and injustices woven into communities and society. These problems and injustices are often left ignored or lit very little effort is put into solving them. However, I knew my generation was capable of fixing a lot of the injustices and problems in the world and making it a better place for everyone. So after thinking about the world's problems and injustices and my own values, I was forced to ask myself a couple of questions. What does humanity need? What does this planet need? In some ways, I feel that both humanity and the planet need similar things, just the planet needs something more specific. Humanity needs energized, driven, and passionate young people, especially young girls and women, to be ready to do what is needed to make this world a better place. I think this planet needs people who want to be a part of keeping the Earth healthy as climate change continues. It needs scientists, especially young ones, and people who just love nature. I don't think I would have been able to feel so committed working towards the things I believe in if it wasn't for my parents. My dad stood up at a protest at a nuclear weapon facility in Nevada only to be arrested. He stood up for what he believed in even if it meant up putting up with being put down. My mom is a full-blown activist. She's been making her nonprofit farms <coughs> focus on agriculture and rural main schools for nearly a decade. There's been times when she has been tempted to leave. Frustrated with staff versus board missions and enraged with food inequality and work inequality. However, she is always lured back in with the final goal of having every kid in Lincoln County have the opportunity to experience growing and eating nutritious food. Not only does she want them to privilege not only does she want to privilege them with the experience of having healthy options at school, but also the skills to bring it home. Thanks to these role models, before coming to CSG, I had already decided that I was willing to feel frustrated at the end of the day to make positive change. There is something about doing something that you love so much that it doesn't matter how much it rips you inside to keep going. I knew I was passionate about slowing the process of climate change before I arrived. Making a difference won't be easy, but it will be possible. I know I can talk on hours on end about horses without getting bored, but I could also talk about marine science and what climate change is doing to our ocean. I felt compelled to convince people that climate change is real and that they need to be a part in making it slow, slow down, not only so we don't get negatively affected by it, but also so the earth doesn't get negatively affected by it. When I thought of how I wanted to contribute to the world, I decided I want to be a good role model who is driven to make the world a better place while staying a happy and fun person to be around. I wanted to make a difference in the world, not a little difference, but a major positive impact. I've discovered many of my strengths at CSG. I've found my strengths when things are difficult and I have to push myself to succeed. Not only did I discover that I am capable of running hard enough to win some badass points, but I also realized that I can be an advocate for myself. I'm obsessed with horses and forgot that not all 18 of the women I live with have the same passion. <laughs> However, I got frustrated with people constantly discounting my passion. At the yoga retreat, when we were asked to remember a moment of grace, I made a point of saying that even though my memory involved a halfling or pony that I rode, that doesn't mean it wasn't important to me. <laughs> I found I'm capable of doing things that are difficult and doing them well. I realized I can bring joy into times of sadness and stress. I found I'm good at appreciating the little things in life, and I realized that I'm good at being there for people when they need someone to lean on. The relationships I made at CSG assisted me in finding out who Emma Goltz is. From check-ins with Layla to going outside with only our socks on to see fireflies with Audrey, I've been able to feel loved and supported. CSG is committed to making the entire community compassionate, caring, and coherent. Coming to CSG has not only opened up so many doors 
for my life, but has also been making a difference in the whole world. I never thought that coming to a small girl's school, school would feel so different from my co-ed high school that has 540 students. CSG made a point of making the 15 of us a tight and loving community, a priority from the beginning. After only four days of being here, we headed off for a 16-mile snowshoe trip up at Main Hudson Trails. Soon, we weren't just a group of 15 and 16-year-old girls, we were a <coughs> compassionate community. CSG has influenced the way I think about communities, both by improving my role in them and how they differ. When I arrived, I thought communities were places where you knew each other, and preferably, you knew each other well. Suddenly, a coherent community at CSG had to be something so much more. We didn't have to only know each other, but we had to genuinely care about each other's emotions and place in the group. I didn't really think that the communities at home had um, as ones with equality throughout the group. I thought of how at Lincoln Academy, teachers were so much higher on the power chain than I was. Sure, I could have a conversation with them or discuss the possibility of extending a due date, but I didn't really feel like we were friends. They weren't exactly people who I would choose to spend my time with. However, I happily spent any additional time with the teachers here. Actually, I would take a few seconds every day when Carrie left to remind her to say hello to her cats. <laughs> Though I now have confidence in her ability to say hello to her own cats. <laughs> it became a routine and it stuck. <laughs> Little things like this wouldn't just happen back home. I actually remembered writing that some of the coastal adventure classes felt like we were just hanging out. What? <laughs> when we all shared an equal role in making this community meaningful, our time together was fun, despite challenges. By being so dedicated in each other and each other's place in the community, trust was built. I remember the weirdness of going on a walk with Kate, Rosie, Abby, Juniper, and Bunny alone for the first time. We felt so free, yet we were still 15 and 16 year olds. We ended up coming back much after it was dark and discussed as we were walking home how the Aries must be really quite worried. <laughs> we were all shocked to some degree when they had trusted us. <laughs> Trust only made our community stronger. We were one. CSG also taught me to stand up for what I believe in. One thing I really appreciated from the beginning of coming to CSG was that there are cornerstones that not only taught us, but were embedded in the foundation of the Yellow Farmhouse. I related to all seven of them to some level, but I found that I connect to the cornerstone, action. Action demands that we contribute to the world in a positive way, as quoted from the CSG flags. This lights a spark in me. I'm interested in making change. However, I noticed I couldn't take that step without finding out who Emma is and what she values. Some of my values I already knew about. From hiking the Milford Trek, a 33 mile hike, or tramp as it is called in New Zealand, that is 3,470 feet tall at its summit, and being a year younger than technically allowed, or galloping up a large grassy hill after a show jumping clinic with my friend Isabel, that is, without any sort of permission, I knew I valued adventure. Yet through living here with successes and struggles, I found that. I value the mindset that it's okay to become lost to find myself and having connections, having friends and mentors I can talk, trust, laugh with, and lean on when things are hard. I knew I valued being loved and having the opportunity to care about someone so much to love them, but I didn't know how much I valued time for spontaneous fun and unexpected experiences and having time to reflect and re-energize. CSG has made me think about my impact on the world and how I can make the world a better place. It has made me think about what kind of changes I would like to see. I know the road won't be easy. However, CSG has given me the skills to make it possible to succeed. For some reason, I think about something my horseback riding teacher, Laura, told me about formals, which are basically how you present yourself at United States Pony Club horse shows, which are called rallies. She told me that formals are what you're in control of. You are in control of how much time you spend polishing your boots and how many hours you want to spend the day before bathing and brushing your horse. You are in control of how tightly you braid your horse's mane and how dedicated you are in practicing keeping your heels down when you ride. However, your partner in crime can be unpredictable. She could decide that your dressage test doesn't really have enough flying bucks or that your jumping course doesn't really deserve to be jumped. 
However, you still have to try your best and do your part. I kind of liken this to my place in the world. I can't change the entire world into an idealistic, peaceful place where the planet as a whole is as healthy and happy as its people. However, I can do my part and start with myself to continue my journey in making positive impacts time after time. I think the most po powerful way that CSG has made me want to change the world is by teaching me about climate change, especially because my science research project focused on ocean acidification. It has made me genuinely interested in making the world a better place. I know I am capable. The next step is doing it. I want to make a difference about climate change. I can be a role model. I can be someone who is actually going to do it, not just talk about it. I can choose a career that will make an impact. I can inspire my friends and potentially, if I have them, my children. I hope that by being a role model in what I am passionate about will inspire people to go out themselves and make a difference. However, that may not be enough. If not, I plan to talk to my friends and peers about making a difference in the world. I, I will encourage them to come with me and try and make an impact together. There are hundreds of thousands of people, if not more, concerned about the effects of climate change. These people are already making an impact by reducing their carbon footprint and thinking about how they affect the speed of climate change. Additionally, there are thousands of scientists trying to find ways to slow climate change and sea rise. Also, people are addressing the issue of climate change by simply talking about it. They are getting more, pe more people in the world aware of the effects of climate change and how they can make a difference. In some ways, this is the most powerful way of slowing climate change that we do right now. This is what I learned at CSG. I think one of the di most difficult parts of CSG will happen tomorrow. I don't know yet what will be going through my head as I drive away from the yellow farmhouse. I wish I could take everyone home with me. This includes the Aries and Mary. I imagine squeezing everyone in the car, that is, with a wild child bunny somehow attached to the roof. <laughs> I can't imagine what it'll be like without listening to Rosie tell the big bunk room goodnight and that she loves us all. We will all go home, but that does not mean that CSG ends after the drive away from the yellow farmhouse. We all need to take what we learned from this once-in-a-lifetime experience and make change in the world. I need to make a difference. My adventure of making the world a better place starts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.